everyone. Thanks for joining us, joining us again. We're so glad that you could be with us today. We're here in our church sanctuary. I've never been in here before when it's empty. There's no one in the pews. And when we came in, it was dark. I'm a little afraid of the dark, even at church. I know I shouldn't be, but I am. And then we turned on the lights, and I could see the beauty of this room. The cross, and the altar, and the candles, and the palms ready for Palm Sunday. Benjamin, are you afraid of the dark? A little bit. A little bit? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah? Why do you think you're afraid of the dark? Um, because it's like, you don't know what, what like's there. You don't know what's there? Yeah, so just like, if someone like walks in the room, you don't even know that. Yeah, you can hear them, but you don't like see you them. You can't see them. It's a little scary when you can't see what's coming, huh? I have a verse for us that'll help us to not be so afraid of the dark. It's from John, chapter 12, verses 35 through 36. So Jesus said to them, the light is among you for a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, lest the darkness overtake you. The one who walks in the darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of light. Jesus was talking to his disciples. He was trying to prepare them for when he would no longer be with them. He knew that he'd be going to the cross soon. He knew that he would die. But he also knew that he wasn't going to stay dead. That he was going to rise again in glory and become our light. The light of the world. And we don't have to be afraid of the dark. Even right now when we're feeling so isolated and we can't see our friends and our family, we have to believe and we know that Jesus is always with us. He is the light in the darkness. All we have to do is believe in him, and he will light our path. Since it's Palm Sunday, I also have another verse. It's also from John chapter 12, verse 13. Benjamin's going to read it. So then they took branches of palm trees and went, no, went out to meet him, crying out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. That's what the people were shouting. They were saying, Hosanna, blessed is the king, when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. I wonder how many of those people realized what a great and mighty king that they were praising to. And if they realized that he was the greatest king of all. That he was the king that came to save the whole world. Well, even though Benjamin and I are the only two here, we're still going to wave our palms. We're still going to shout our hosannas. But let's pray first. Dear Jesus, you are the light in the darkness. Be with us this week to shine a light on our path. Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen. Are you ready, Benjamin? Yep. Get our palms. Hosanna. Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Bye. See you next time. Bye.